Right, howdy folks, how are you all doing? Um, an extremely quick, quick review. I'm uh, supposed to be picking stock up. This is one of our, uh, this is one of our sellers. Chocker block full, absolutely rammed to the brim. But anyway, less about that. So, I've had a delivery in this morning. I got some new uh, Freiburg and, Tre and Treya snuff. Um, this is the Santa, Santa Domingo. Now, I know nothing about this stuff at all. I've been having a bit of a, bit of a sniff out of the tin in the shop and geez it is a damp dark snuff hopefully you can see that i know the lighting ain't particularly great in here but it ain't far off being black like a coffee rain sort of thing now out of the tin i got a slightly perfumed sort of musky fusty sort of smell um almost kind of a kind of rotting vegetation compost sort of smell there's some woods in there so you say it's kind of like some rotting wood um and i say it is extremely thick cut and it's very very damp it clumps together very very well and i'll just give you an example it flattens onto your fingers sort of thing so let's uh, give this a whirl <laughs> like i say it's very very grainy and it's very moist it's just sticking there it has a bit of a sharp kind of tingle instantly But I struggle with these moist, heavy snuffs. They don't stay up in my nose very well. Um, the smell when it's up your nose is very, very subtle. Um, I say there's a bit of a, a little bit of a sharpness up there. But other than that, it's quite smooth. But I can feel it still kind of there, stuck to all my nose hairs. It's got a... It's, it's almost a sandalwood kind of aroma to it. And at the same time, it has that fusty, almost manure kind of compost sort of aroma to it. Very different to a lot of the other snuffs I've taken. I mean, it's probably typical of the uh, the Freiburg range. I'm going to maybe sneeze in a second. It's tickling a little bit just here. But um, it's pretty much my first, my first proper try of this. And like I say, it is quite moist, quite damp. When you inhale, you get sort of a... It's got that kind of wine sort of aroma to it that you find with the old Paris and a few other triborgs I've tried in the past, but the aroma for some reason is stronger out of the tin than what it is when it's up your schnoz. Now I've got to try and get some of this back into here now. So, it's an interesting one. I'm going to try it a few more times, but it's, it's the weight. I can feel it all in my nose sort of thing. It's very, very heavy. And the aroma is very, very subtle. Although I think it does carry a bit of nicotine to it feel my heart heart rate increasing a little bit now so on the whole if you want a snuff that gives you a good hit of nicotine sort of thing then uh i can see the santa domingo it would be uh the santo domingo so it would be your sort of thing but if you want a snuff just for a, a light kind of refreshing fragrant aroma I, I don't think this one's for you um i do have another one which i'll be trying tonight uh, i'll be splicing this up all into one video uh and that's the dr jr justice snuff um that is a lighter snuff and it smells beautiful in the tin. I thought I'd just uh, review this one while I'm over here. Um, before that, there is a video which I, uh, I actually thought I'd uploaded and have completely forgotten to do. So Patrick, I'm ever so sorry. Um, you probably come across as extremely ignorant. And for that, I apologize. Uh, but up before the next uh, Freiburg snuff review, here's my uh, here's my box opening of my um, alien's finger. Um, I tripped over my words a lot when I originally shot this video. Um, he's made the Dragon's Tooth uh, Tampers, Patrick, Patrick the Pipe this is, made some of the beautiful Dragon's Tooth Tampers for other people. I referred to it as a Dragon's Claw and a Dragon's Tail and everything in that video. The original ones were the Dragon's Tooth and the one he made for me is an Alien's Finger. So again, Patrick, I'm ever so sorry. Um, like I say, I, I can't believe that I haven't uploaded that video. I shot it the day you sent it to me. Uh, the two cigars you sent me, they're in my humidor. They smell like they've been there some pipe tobacco, but they smell quite interesting. And uh, I will sort you out a couple of the cigars I made for myself last year. I mean, the year before, sorry. So um, like I say, this is the box opening of the um, of the Alien's Finger Tamper made for me by Patrick. And to follow that's the uh, the Freiburg and Terrier Dr. JR Justice Snuff Review. There may be some more to follow on. I'm filming these bits and bobs throughout the day. And I'll just splice it all together into a review when I get home. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the segments of this video. And I shall be back very, very soon. I do have uh, one other one other closing remark to put on the um, the Santa Domingo. A word of warning: um, if you're used to taking slightly, like I say, milder, mellower snuffs, and you tend to um, 
inhale to you know get those bits out the back of your nose do not do it with the Santa Domingo I've got this huge big thick block of something wedged in the back of my throat at the moment and it is not nice at all so uh, this is definitely one you need to carry a stuff hanky a couple of packets of tissues around with you uh, just a word of warning but um the flavors linger very very well um, it does have some musky some musky notes to it as well on the finish of this snuff say so it's kind of that intense sort of like woodland composty sort of smell but then like i say don't whatever you do get a tissue blow your nose don't do what i do and just uh, send it all down the back of your throat so like i say uh, this is the video patrick's patrick's tamper right, thank you time for another uh yappa um another package sent to me at work um it could be a couple of things but i haven't got a clue so Get into this thing. Keep in mind about how much tape we put on parcels. Aha! Right, this is from uh, Patrick the Pipe. Whoops, that's got a little bit crushed in there, chap. Right, this is from a good friend, Patrick. So, it's not a, uh, a dragon's tooth, this is a uh, dragon's claw. This is uh, an alien's finger, apparently, with a, a 5p on the bottom. That is awesome. My friend, thank you very much. That is the coolest tamper I own now. Whoops. Check it. And as well as that, um, I've had a go at this in the past and mine have always come out disastrously whereas this these in here are some cigars that Patrick made six or eight years ago I think they were they've been flattened a little bit and they're a bit dry well they smell nice cool right. I'll stick these in the humidor for a few weeks and uh, I shall give one of these a whirl. So Patrick, my friend, thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoy the tobaccos that I sent to you. Um, and like I say, I'll get these in uh, my humidor at home and I should give them a whirl in a few weeks. But for the alien's tooth, <laughs> freaking awesome. Thank you ever so much, matey. And uh, I can't wait till the queue comes down a bit so I can get a pipe off you. So thank you very much. Um, be filming a lot more tonight it's the pipe club. But uh, I shall see you all soon. Right. I said I'd be back. I said I'd be back with another snuff review. Let's just get back here a little bit. So, um, another Freiburg and Treyer I've taken on today. I don't think you can quite. That's him. So this is uh, Dr. JR Justice. Now, um, I have had a few more pinches of, uh, oh dear, the, uh, Santa, the Santo Domingo that I was trying earlier. And um, God, I'll say, like well, you saw at the end of that video, which I mentioned before I finished it sort of thing. You need to carry catch. You need to carry a handkerchief around with you. That's not a snuff you can just you know, get out of the way sort of thing. It wasn't appealing at all. But anyway, less of that one. So I say this is the Doctor Jr. Justice, and I'll find out a bit more information. Many of you probably know already. Um, this is a much lighter, a much lighter snuff. Um, out of the tin, it smells a lot more perfumey compared to the old Paris um, kind of sandalwood talcum powder kind of aroma there's definitely some citrus there it's like citrus and sandalwood talcum powder and again there's with all the, the F, ft snuffs there's always that kind of it's like a musky fusty dusty kind of aroma in the background very very old-fashioned style smell really so uh, i'm gonna give this a whirl um out of the tin it's a lot drier it's a lot drier than the um Oh dear, keep the Santa Domingo I tried earlier. I say that was that was bloody hell, that was damp. This, consistency-wise, it reminds me a lot more of old Paris, which, uh, as many of you know, is one of my staples. So uh, we'll start with a left this time. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a burn, but it's got a rather cooling effect. I think the weirdest way I've ever taken snuff. Yep, the aroma is, like I say, kind of citruses and sandalwoods. 
with a very, very long talcum powder sort of finish. Um, a colleague of mine said it, it reminded her a lot of kind of a an old sandalwood talcum powder. Uh, I think it was a mum or a dad used to use when she was a kid. I say, when you first put it up, it's got a... It's kind of the, the sharp, stinging, tingling sensation, but at the same time, it's... It's a rather cooling, tingling sensation. It's not kind of a, It's not medicated at all. No, there's nothing to open up your sinuses, but... As far as a nice aroma goes, that is... That is beautiful. I say, it kind of smells... Like I say, sandalwood, um, citrus... Hint of talcum powder. It's almost violety. I can almost sense a little bit of Royal George in this, to be honest. Or is it slightly rosy? There's some aspect of um, Wilson's uh, Royal George in this. Like I say, it's a... It's a beautiful snuff, though. So whoever uh, Dr. J.R. Justice is, he has certainly had a good taste when it came to snuff. It pleasant. That instant cooling before the burn is very, very interesting. Um, I say it has a bit of a sting to it. Took that up there. But no. I'm trying to decide if I prefer this or uh, or my staple of Paris, to be honest. It's still got that underlying typical FT kind of, like I say, musky, dusky, fusty sort of that scent to it. But this is good. If you're a fan of Royal George, Old Paris, those kind of sort of like mixed flavours of woods and floral notes and things like that, you should definitely give this a try. This is a very, very interesting snuff. I may have to... Uh, carry this around a bit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, like I say, the previous video, sorry again, Patrick. I feel awful for uh, for not for not thanking you sooner. But um, until later, folks, I am going to get heading home. Um, I've got the day off tomorrow, but it's Valentine's Day, and uh, Kim's, Kim's free until 6, so I think in the day I'll be spending the day with Kim. That doesn't mean I've got the evening to myself, so... Uh, Expect some more videos from me. I am going to get round to No Name number two. I promise you guys, I will get round to reviewing No Name number two. Uh, but until then, thank you ever so much for watching. And uh, if you didn't see my video on Sunday, uh, don't forget to check out the Good Dram Show. It's the, uh, like I say, it's the new whiskey videos that we're doing here at Gauntley's. Um, so yeah, thank you ever so much for watching, and like I say, hopefully, hopefully I should have uh, should have some more videos for you tomorrow. So uh, until then, boys and girls, keep on smoking, keep shoving it in your, up your nose, keep shoving it down the front of your lip, keep sticking those seeds in the ground, and keep mixing those tobaccos up. But uh, until then, folks, take care and goodbye.